So uh, I'm here to uh, introduce uh, Tomer Mekti, uh, Head of Infrastructure at Sandys and one of our customers. Been actually a better customer than transition into a GA customer. And I'd like to ask you some questions, Tomer, about uh, your experience uh, with Velostrada. Sure. And so let me begin with asking you a question as what was the business problems that you were trying to solve uh, before uh, uh, working with Velostrada? So I would probably highlight two challenges, two main challenges. The first one is hardware procurement avoidance, which especially in remote sites we had 20 plus remote location at SanDisk and as a head of infrastructure, for me to be able to sustain the business growth, right, while reducing the hardware footprint mm -hmm. was extremely challenging, especially in locations where I don't have any IT personnel. The second one was uh, related to engineering, shadow IT organizations that popping mm -hmm. up everywhere and um, our engineers obviously were engaging yeah. cloud providers and those solutions in most of the cases weren't uh, sustainable, right, from the cost perspective, from the management perspective, and from the information security perspective. So we as an IT had to step in and provide more scalable, more, uh, you know, proven solutions. Yeah, and one of the reasons why Shadow IT developed is because they wanted some resources now, right? They can't wait. Yeah, usually yeah. It's, it's, it's rapid deployment, right. right? It's multiple cases. It's like high-performing computer is a big thing, right? Running simulations, being able to spin up VMs, right, very quickly. Mm -hmm. Primarily test environments. Right, okay. For the engineering. Yeah, yeah great. So, uh, uh, so you tried Velostrata. How did you actually use it uh, in, in production? Yeah. So we have imp we have implemented two use cases in production while having a couple of others in the pipeline. Uh -huh. The first one was uh, we have actually deployed an application, engineering application for our users in Korea, and that was a typical case where we instead of buying servers, we just pr procured licenses and we uh -huh. spin up the applications in the cloud. And, and, and while using the database that was running in our primary data center in the US. So that's a good case of, of just avoiding buying hardware. The second was... Mm -hmm. And the performance that you experienced? The performance was, uh, was, was, was um, acceptable, right? Mm -hmm. We haven't had any issues with performance. Despite the fact that it was like a big you know, latency between... Uh, yeah, so, the, so, yeah, so we found the closest uh, hub for AWS was in Japan. Uh -huh. Japan and Korea has an excellent infrastructure and below 20 milliseconds we could sustain it uh -huh. and, and, and it was perfectly acceptable by the application owners. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, the second one was, uh, was the QA test system for CRM, which we've kind of, uh, we had performance related issues and we've deployed uh, this environment using Velostrata in the cloud while our users were in India, mm -hmm. right? So they could yeah. feel it in much more reliable environment rather than just remote desktop or Citrix to the US uh, based mm -hmm. data center. So there's uh, two use cases. We had a couple of others in the pipeline. Mm -hmm. That's great. Uh, uh, one more question. So uh, if you kind of, kind of summarize the business benefits that you see from using Velostrata both in the short term as well as in the long term. Yeah, so on the tactical side, on the short term, right, obviously we avoided buying hardware, right? So we had right. use cases where we didn't buy hardware. So we implemented we were, effectively a hybrid cloud environment. Yeah, so yeah. we've improved the release, software release kind of timeline, right, for our engineers by their spinning up VMs uh -huh. in, in, in more rapidly. So it's both uh, agility and cost savings. Yeah, so the, yeah. yeah, so the cost saving was mostly on the hardware side, avoidance side. While in the test and QA systems, it's more important the the, the speed is much uh -huh. much much uh -huh. more significant. Yeah. So in general, right for the tactical side, right being able to run your database, keep your database on prem, and spin up as many VMs as you can in the cloud, right mm -hmm. without impacting performance, has a huge advantage, operational advantage. Uh -huh. On the more strategic side, right, it's I I truly believe that Velstrata helped us to put a foundation for hybrid cloud, right? So we basically finally mm -hmm. could find a workable solution, not the theoretical one, right? Which, you know, we all know, right? There are so many theoretical solutions mm -hmm. out there, but this one has actually worked for us, so we could really implement hybrid cloud uh, infrastructure, right? And okay. obviously, right, we, we, we increased our, uh, you know, our market share with engineers, right? Which is very important for uh -huh. IT, uh -huh. right? We gain more and more customers and we provide the benefits of IT and leverage the scale that we have. 
Uh, so I would say this is this is probably you know the most important benefit to try so putting so, the foundation. So you think basically hybrid. a strategic platform for enabling your hybrid cloud environment. Yes. And yes. being able to uh, leverage and balance what works in the cloud, what works on prem, and be able to yes. do it in a very agile way. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Being 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 actually being able to be dynamic. Not only being able uh -huh. to be dynamic about it, but actually being production ready about it. Right? Yeah, that's a good because point. those are production yeah. VMs. It's not just couple of landscapes yeah. right, that we moved to. That's great. So, uh, you know, thank you for being a, a great customer uh, and for giving us all this feedback that we're actually putting back into the product. <laughs> and uh, thanks a lot for coming over here. Thank you. Okay.